Uncertainty Reduction Theory of Charles Berger. Presentation by Kimmy Howard and Andy Franklin. Uncertainty reduction can be defined as increased knowledge of what kind of person another is, which provides an improved forecast of how a future interaction will turn out. A direct quote from Charles Berger, The beginnings of personal relationships are fraught with uncertainties. Let's learn a little more about Charles. He is a professor emeritus of communications at University of California, Davis. He also has a Bachelor of Science in Psychology from Pennsylvania State University. He also attained a Master of Arts and Doctorate of Philosophy in Communication from Michigan State University. He co-edited the first edition of the Handbook of Communication Science with Stephen H. Chaffee. Central to the present theory is the assumption that when strangers meet, their primary concern is one of uncertainty reduction or increasing predictability about the behavior of both themselves and others in the interaction. Using passive and interactive forms of communication and new social relationships to gain knowledge and create understanding. This uses Fritz Heider's attribution theory and viewpoint of people as intuitive psychologists. There are eight key variables or axioms of relationship development and our drive to reduce uncertainty is fueled by three prior conditions. This includes anticipation of future interaction, incentive value, and deviance. The first of those eight axioms includes verbal communication. The higher the level of uncertainty, the verbal communication increases. As verbal communication increases, uncertainty will decrease. Nonverbal warmth. Increase of expressing nonverbal warmth decreases uncertainty. As the decreases in uncertainty, this will increase expressiveness of nonverbal warmth. Next, we have information seeking. An increase of uncertainty increases information seeking behavior, while a decrease of uncertainty decreases information seeking behavior. Self disclosure. An increase of uncertainty causes decrease of personal or intimate self disclosure. A decrease of uncertainty causes increase of intimacy. Reciprocity. Increased uncertainty equals increased reciprocity. Match the level of detail of another person, but this does not allow for a one-up situation. Next we have similarity. Similarities of people decrease uncertainty. Birds of a feather flock together mentality must be used in similarity. Next we have liking. Increases of uncertainty causes decreases of liking. It is difficult to like someone that you have uncertainties about. Lastly, we have shared networks. Shared communication networks decreases uncertainty. If you speak to your new boyfriend's social circle, you will reduce uncertainty about him. I will use a personal story to demonstrate the theory. I am extremely close with my brother. I feel a deeper bond than a typical sibling relationship due to the influence we have had on each other. He recently informed me that he was dating a new girl named Sarah. He told me he felt strongly about Sarah and wanted my opinion of her. He warned me that she was not a girl's girl and not to be too hard on her. The level of uncertainty about Sarah was extremely high. I planned to meet her with the goal of establishing a friendly relationship to comfort my brother. Working through Berger's self-evident truths about the initial meeting, I realized that the uncertainty diminished quickly. Verbal communication was flowing, nonverbal warmth was expressed after the initial decrease of uncertainty. By the first two axioms, I was already reducing the uncertainty significantly, so information seeking slowed. We matched each other's pace of self-disclosure, carefully working within social norms of intimacy while discussing past relationships. Reciprocity was important, although I typically led the initial conversation. The similarities of background and shared networks of my brother's social circle eased the remaining uncertainty of the first meeting. Using a real-world experience to relate the theory, it makes me think back when I got hired for a new part-time job. I applied and was told I had the job, but with just one catch. I had heard rumors about the boss paying well, but has a foul attitude and is rarely kind. With all the rumors in mind, this set me up to, be really, to really find out what kind of guy he really is. 
As Berger focuses on predictability, I predicted that the rumors were true and I was to be on my best behavior. Although using the axioms to understand my boss on an even stage, I decided to meet him with an open mindset. Using the eight key variables for relationship development, I met Lenny, my boss, and talked for a while. Verbal communication flowed as planned as we talked evenly about the rink and cars. Nonverbal warmth was expressed as we felt comfortable after a couple of minutes of talking. I was curious about his wealth, kindness, and work ethic, so this raised my question asking to increase my information-seeking ways. Self-disclosure was still at an all-time high as I had no need for an intimate relationship of that degree yet. Reciprocity was even keel as we talked for a good 30 minutes evenly. Similarity and liking was evident as well. As we both love ice rinks and similar interests, one that we could not grasp was the shared networks as Lenny and I have likeness and good communication, but we cannot compare on common networking. After reading the critiques of Berger's URT and a first look at communication theory, I disagree with the majority of the critiques mentioned. Berger accurately describes the uncertainty of an initial interaction with someone new. He explains our need to reduce the uncertainty and how to decrease it with the eight axioms of the theory. He predicts these variables by using passive, active, interactive, and extractive strategies, and also purposing that we plan messages to achieve our relationship goals. In my example, I planned my message by sequencing the conversation in a manner that was informative, informative seeking and comforting while obtaining the goal of liking each other enough to ease my brother's in- integration of his romantic interest. Berger explains the control that we possess over the initial meeting with somebody. We can construct strategic communication based on our goal for the relationship. A cross-cultural test of uncertainty reduction theory, the comparisons of acquaintance, friends, and dating relationships in Japan, Korea, and the United States, provided by these authors here. Thank you for listening into the uh, theory, and we hope you have a great day.